Kate was described as the royal peacemaker, after Prince Philip's funeral in April, when she was seen engaging Harry and his estranged brother Prince William in conversation. It sparked hopes that the siblings were going to heal their rift, only for the Duke of Sussex to make another string of damning accusations against the firm as soon as he touched down in the U.S. It was then widely speculated that the Duchess of Cambridge would make an appearance at the unveiling ceremony for the Princess Diana statue this week, on what would have been the royal's 60th birthday, as well. However, the palace confirmed last week that the service would be a slimmed-down occasion due to COVID restrictions, with only Harry, William, Diana's close family members, statue committee members, the statue sculptors and the designer of the sunken garden at Kensington Palace in attendance. Royal commentator Camilla Tomini explained, aides had agonized over whether Kate, 39, should attend Thursday's engagement but she will not be present. While William, 39, always wanted his wife of 10 years to be by his side, there were concerns that Harry might feel outflanked by the Cambridges if they were there together and he was on his own. Meghan will not be attending the occasion because she gave birth to the couple's second child, Lilibet Diana, at the beginning of June. The possibility of Harry bringing along his two-year-old son Archie as a peace offering to his family, who have not seen the tot since November 2019, also disappeared when the Duke of Sussex was seen landing alone in the UK last week. Yet, royal insiders told Ms. Tomini that Meghan's absence is seen as an opportunity for the royals to reconnect with the old Harry. The Duke of Sussex is currently in quarantine after touching back down in Britain and so will not be able to see his family until Thursday, the day of the statue unveiling, at the very earliest. Certain reports have suggested he is only going to be making a flying visit, too, as he is keen to return to his young family back in California. The brothers are both passionate about this particular memorial for their late mother, having commissioned a statue for her on the 20th anniversary of her death back in 2017. Yet, amid his rift with the rest of the royal family, Harry's relationship with Kate appeared to come under strain too. The Duchess of Cambridge seemed to hint at this fallout during a press conference earlier this month, when she confirmed she was yet to meet her newborn niece Lilibet via FaceTime more than a week after her birth. Kate was also first in the firing line during Meghan and Harry's dramatic Oprah Winfrey interview, when the Duchess of Sussex touched on the reports that she had made her sister-in-law cry back in 2018.